Hard drives are much cheaper than SSDs. Unfortunately, they're also much slower. Intel says that its obtained memory can dramatically boost the speed of hard drives to SSD-like levels. But does it actually work? Can it actually boot up your games faster? Let's find out. Intel Optane Memory is based on a new non-volatile memory express technology called 3D Crosspoint. Intel asserts that it is up to 1,000 times faster than NAND flash at the architectural level. It uses a PCIe drive based on the M.2 form factor. Used in conjunction with an HDD boot drive, Intel says that its Optane Memory can act as a super-fast caching drive that can dramatically accelerate the load times of your most used games and applications. And spoiler warning, for the most part, it works. We'll get to the benchmarks in a bit. While caching drives are nothing new, as we've had hard drives with small amounts of NAND flash built onto them for years in the form of solid-state hybrid drives, NAND simply isn't fast enough to lift slow spinning drives out of a performance slump. Using one of these SSHDs is like driving on a one-lane highway with the occasional passing lane. The passing lane, i.e. the NAND in this scenario, is definitely helpful, but at the end of the day, you're still driving on a one-lane highway. With 3D Crosspoint being so much faster, that one occasional passing lane now opens up to what amounts to Germany's crazy fast Autobahn freeway system. One major roadblock to using Optane memory is that you will need a 7th generation Kyrie Lake CPU coupled with a 200 series motherboard that has an M.2 slot. The company tells me that it takes approximately 4 runs before Optane can properly cache applications to reach optimal efficiency. As a result, I ran all Optane tests 4 times. I plotted these results from left to right in sequential order and compared them to my standalone hard drive runs in the following charts. My first benchmark is a simple Windows 10 boot test. Using a stopwatch, I timed how long it took the PC to load up Windows 10 and Valve Steam client from a cold boot. The hard drive took a little over 35 seconds. When you take the average of my 4 Optane runs, you end up with a 29 second boot time. While that's not as fast as an SSD, that is a 21% advantage over the standalone hard drive. Intel asserts that games can launch up to 67% faster with Intel Optane memory. So I ran Fallout 4 for my game boot test. The hard drive booted up to the main menu in 7.5 seconds. Optane's first run launched the game in 4.2 seconds and got slightly faster with each iteration. When loading a save file in Fallout 4, the hard drive took 41 seconds before I could actually jump into the game's post-apocalyptic world. The average of my 4 Optane runs came out to 33 seconds, which is 22% faster than the hard drive by itself. I also tested Intel's claim that Optane can launch Google Chrome up to 5 times faster than a traditional hard drive. The HDD by itself launched Google's browser in roughly 2400 milliseconds, whereas the hard drive coupled with Optane took less than 300 milliseconds on average. That's over 8 times as fast as the hard drive by its lonesome. These millisecond advantages may not sound like much, but they can add up over time. Intel says that Optane will allow you to search and find files up to 4 times faster compared to a hard drive. So I conducted a stopwatch test doing a file search for Windows Media Player. It took over 50 seconds for the hard drive to pull up all relevant results. Optane was noticeably faster with the first run clocking in at around 20 seconds. Oddly enough, each subsequent Optane search took a little longer than the last. For now, Intel is releasing its Optane memory in two sizes. The company asserts that its $44 16GB model offers enough cache for most mainstream users. Intel says that its $77 32GB stick, which I tested, is better for power users who use a wide variety of applications. If you're constantly juggling a bunch of different programs and games, you may reach a caching bottleneck. Even the Autobahn can get congested every now and then. This means that traditional SATA-based SSDs aren't going away anytime soon. Although Optane memory doesn't always live up to Intel's lofty claims, it sometimes exceeds them. It's no replacement for an SSD in the event that you reach a caching bottleneck, but it is dramatically faster than a hard drive. If you're adverse to buying an SSD for whatever reason, then we highly recommend Intel's Optane memory. But what do you think? Do you think this can replace SSDs? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to us on YouTube. Thank you for watching.